Ms. Allen, you are in court today claiming the defendant, Mr. Levon, is denying your six-month-old daughter, Layla, only because he's desperate to try to keep your affair with him a secret. You're here to expose that secret and prove paternity. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Levon, you and your girlfriend say you know you are not the biological father of the child in question and will prove your claim today in court. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Allen, so what upsets you most about the situation today? He is... He's denying our child. And he needs to step up to be a man. Why do you think he's denying the baby? Because of his girlfriend, of course. His girlfriend telling him lies. The girlfriend tells him lies? Yes, Your Honor. Like what? No, I don't. Telling him that the baby don't look like him. That baby too light. My baby do not too light. Oh. Just because I have to light dark. And he don't want to break up his happy home with his girlfriend. So you believe this is all about the girlfriend? Yes. Mr. Levant, are you denying this child because you're trying to keep your relationship with your girlfriend? No. No. So, you have a family together, you and your girlfriend? Yes. So, there's a lot at stake here. You have children? Yes, yes we do. How many? Three. You have three children? Yes. How did you end up getting into a sexual relationship with Ms. Allen? At the time, we was going through something and we split up for just the one night. You split up for one night. It was not one night. We just split up. Like, we was going through some stuff. No, it wasn't. And... Yes, it was. We had a break for a minute. Yes, it was a one night stand. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You just married because I got my baby, so be quiet. You wasn't here. So, wait a minute. You You tried to break up a happy home because you knew we had three kids together for the longest. You've been commenting on my Facebook profile No, I was there because I was telling you to keep him away from me. No, you've been stalking Okay, let's get some some order because I want to understand this story. Ms. Allen, I need to know, did you know Mr. Levant had a girlfriend and three children when you were sleeping with him? No. Yes, you did. Was it just a one-night stand? No, it wasn't. You commented on my Facebook channel. We was together, like I said, we was together 2010... Y'all never I met together. Him. No, yes, we were. Oh, with a phone. Okay, first, first oh, off, phone, okay, well, I wasn't talking really? to you. Okay. So wait a minute, I want to understand the nature of this relationship. It was Ms. a long-distance relationship. They only talked over the it phone. It was a long-distance relationship. So it was a long-distance relationship. You lived in one state, he lived in another. Yes. You okay, and so never. how would you all, or when would you all see one another? I saw him 2015, Your Honor, but we were dating 2010. Yeah, I never so was dating. So it was a long-distance relationship. That's not what he told me. Yeah, I met him through a mutual friend. So you've known him since 2010? Yes, Your Honor. But then you're saying all of... You you all were back and forth in a relationship for five years? Yes. Sleeping together? No. Never. He was off on a relationship. Yeah, I never was. Mr. Levant, were you talking to Miss Allen while you... We're in this relationship with your girlfriend? No, I was not. You met her in 2010? I met her in 2010. When you met her, did you tell her you were single? Yes. Never. Never. Yes, he did. No. Yes, he did, Your Honor. He was texting me on Facebook. We was calling each other on the phone in a video. How often did you talk to her on the phone? I talked to her a year. One solid year you were on the phone with her? Yes. Did you know this, Miss Lanier? I knew about it. But I told him to stop contacting her. They met in 2013, Your Honor. We they met in 2013. So we had our first child in 2014. You was then 2015, we met anyway. and I just so had like a child said, right after like you. Said, you one out of there. One at a what time. What saying? Mr. Levant, you met this woman and you were on a, having a phone conversation, a phone relationship for a year. Yeah. And then you say that culminated into a one-night stand. It, we was never right. in a relationship, though. We was talking as friends. No, we were. That's right, but at it. some point you had sex. How did you end up having sex? In 2015. In 2015. In 2015, what happened? You were in long distance phone I came relationship. Down. I came, came to down. Atlanta in 2015 for my vacation. We meet up after that. We did but what you we did. contacted like me I in said, that week. We did what we did in 2015, and I got the proof. Like you know that when we did it. You have I, proof. Yes, I do. I'd like proof. to see it. So, this is a calendar you yes, brought. Yes, that we... So, on this calendar, you claim you were intimate with Mr. Levant on the 27th of December. Yes. 
Your due date was uh, September 26th. Was September 26th. So, Mr. Levant, do you agree with what this calendar asserts? Not at all. <laughs> you don't believe that? Not at all. Why not? Uh, the dates is wrong. You, uh, okay. text me a letter, a doctor's letter, saying that you was pregnant on the 6th. On the 6th of January? Yes. No, it wasn't. Did you bring that letter? No. So, okay, that doesn't negate the fact that you all may have had sex on the 27th of December. I told but him I was But she was having pregnant. sex with other I men and Mr. Mitchell was, was her current boyfriend. She broke up with dinner. her boyfriend just to no, break up my no, happy home with no, Mr. LaVon. You don't know. So, you wasn't there. You are saying that Ms. Allen was intimate with another man somewhere during this timeline. Yes. Can you tell the court where? In the park. It was not at the park. I mean, at what time? <laughs> it was not at the park. You slept with Mr. Mitchell in the park. Like I just said, it was not at the park. So I did not, not mean a location. Mr. I meant <laughs> where within the timeline. You had sex yes, with Mr. Mitchell a day before you, you had know sex when with I Mr. Levan. You don't know when. So you wasn't right there. So why are you here? So now I gotta ask you this. Miss Allen, do you admit you were also intimate with Mr. Mitchell? During this window? Yes, Your Honor. You were? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Allen, uh, Mr. Levant does not agree with your testimony or your calendar. Why are you so sure that Mr. Levant is your child's biological father when you admittedly slept with Mr. Mitchell as well during the window? Me and Mitchell and I did not finish what we did. Me and Jerome and I finished the intercourse. Ms. Lanier. Yes, Your Honor. How did you find out your boyfriend may have gotten another woman pregnant? He actually told me February 3rd. Yeah, two when months When she was after. three months pregnant. I was two months. What he did he say? He finally admitted it to me months. after me and her had spoke over the phone February 3rd. How did you speak to her over the phone? She called me. And said what? I am three months pregnant. Two Wait months. a minute. How did you even know she existed? She contacted me through social media on Facebook since 2014 when oh, my first yeah. child was born. She, oh, so you all, you knew... She's been stalking us since day one. We've been together for five years. That's not five years. Y'all been together for three. Thank you. We've been together for five. The dates do not add up the dates to the up. conception of her child at all. And you are still together right now? Yes, yes. we are. He actually just delivered our last child in February. You just had a child in February? Yes. yes. Now, if this child, Ms. Allen's child, turns out to be your boyfriend's biological child, is this relationship going to withstand... No, it's not. ...this development? <laughs> no, it's it won't. not. So you're saying if this ends up being your boyfriend's biological child, the relationship is over? Yes. Ms. Allen, has Mr. Levant ever said, you know, I am this child's father? Did he admit it yes, to you? He yes, did. Through the text message. And why are you so upset now? Because he's denying my child. He needs to stand up for a plate to be her daddy. I grew up with no daddy, so I know how it feels. Mm -hmm. So I want my daughter to have her daddy with her. It's a hard life, though. It just it hurts me a lot. It really does. You just want to break up a happy home. No, I didn't. Home. So, be quiet. No, I wasn't. You've been trying to break us up no, since wasn't. day one. No, I didn't. Your man decides to cheat on you with me. Your man decides to call me on my phone. No. Wow. No, you text he me. He calls me and say, you want me up. He calls you? Yeah, in January. That's a lie. That is a lie. Mr. Mr. Levon, have you ever accepted that Layla is your child? No. You have never accepted she's your child. No. Yes. So you have no idea That's why Miss Allen would say, say this. When she, um, no. Sent pictures of the fake Miss Allen, you say there. yes, he did say that. Yes. Do you have any proof <clears throat> yes, of do. such? Jerome, will you please hand me the proof? Mm -hmm. This is a series of text messages between the two of you. Yes. Text messages. Yes, Your Honor. So. Happy Valentine's Day, Lily. Lele. Lele. Daddy loves you. Ooh. 
Happy wow. Valentine's Day to you, Carlisha. Then you send a picture of Layla. Layla. And then he says, Mr. Levant says, what's she doing? And then you say, looking around. And then he says, she looking for me, laugh out loud. And then you say, laugh out loud, nah, her sis. And then you respond, Mr. Levant, and I want my daughter. Those text messages are fake. That I don't was know. not I don't fake. Know. That's not me. It wasn't, it wasn't, Your Honor. How the heck do I send That's a picture me. to myself and text myself? That's his number. So you believe she fabricated all of this? Yes. Okay, so what is the motive here? Now, Ms. Lanier, you say she's trying to break you all up, she's been stalking you, and I mean this with all due respect. Why would she be so obsessed over you, Mr. Levant? Exactly. I, I mean it respectfully. I really don't mean it in that way. I, I really want to know what, what, what? If you're just talking to her on the phone and nothing was really happening and you weren't having sex with her, you weren't leading her on except a one-night stand. How does... I mean, this is like a movie or something. I mean, one-night stand leads to her wanting to destroy your entire family? Correct. Why? Because she know I'm a good man and I take care of my kids. No, you don't. You want to take her away? Now, I will say this. I'm not overlooking the fact that you have reason to doubt. I mean, she's admitted that she slept with somebody else. She been sleeping around with plenty other men. No, I didn't. Besides Mr. Mitchell. No, I haven't. That's lies. She even lies. contacted me and told me that she was sleeping around... That's lies. ...throughout her whole entire pregnancy. That's lies. Lies, Your Honor. I think we need to hear from this other man. Jerome, I'm ready to hear from him. Can you please escort... <laughs> ...Mr. Mitchell into the courtroom? Yes. I'm gonna have you go to the bench right next to the judge. Mr. Mitchell, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. We're in court today talking about the paternity of beautiful baby Layla. Uh, I would like to know, first and foremost, did you have a sexual relationship with her mother, Ms. Allen? Yes, ma'am. You did. Did she ever tell you that you could be Layla's father? No, ma'am. She didn't? No, ma'am. And so, do you believe you are Layla's father? No, ma'am. Mr. Levant, after you heard Mr. Mitchell's testimony, does that change in any way how you feel about Ms. Allen's assertions? No. It doesn't? No. Nah. I mean, he's a man of few words, but he was pretty direct. <laughs> She's just trying to pin her baby on Mr. Levant. No. Because she knows that Mr. Levant is a good man to me and to our kids. No, so, no, no. Ms. Lanier, after you've heard this testimony, has any of it changed how you feel about this? Do you still believe that Ms. Allen is lying and your boyfriend is not her child's father? Yes, Your Honor. Do you still stand by the fact that if he is, you are done with the relationship? Yes, I am. And you all have how many children? Three. Three. I think it's time we go to the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Allen versus Levant Mitchell, when it comes to six-month-old Layla Allen, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Mitchell, you are not the father. Mr. Levant, I can hear a pin drop right now in this courtroom. In the case of Allen versus Levant Mitchell, when it comes to six-month-old Layla Allen, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Levant, you are not the father. Ooh. Yes! Wait. <laughs> yes. Ms. Hmm. Allen, 
He's the only man I slept with, though. Unfortunately, Ms. Allen, given this DNA evidence, that cannot be the truth. And Mr. Mitchell is not the child's biological father either. There must be at least one other person. Do you know who he is? You don't. You've got some thinking to do for your baby. But I have to say to you, if you keep up with this behavior, you're gonna be back in this courtroom again. You don't lay down with men on a whim. You're a valuable, beautiful girl. You now are the mother to a valuable, beautiful little girl. Ms. Walton, you are pregnant with the defendant's baby, but you're here to prove he's also the biological father of your nine-month-old son, King. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you confess Mr. Deaver discovered you were cheating on him, but say you have proof the other man could not be your son's father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Deaver, you claim the truth about Ms. Walton's cheating only surfaced because you went through her cell phone while she was sleeping and discovered she had slept with your childhood friend. Yes. Wow. If today's results prove that you are not the biological father of her son, you say you're finished with Ms. Walton. Basically, yes. So, yeah. Ms. Walton, does Mr. Deaver have valid reasons to doubt paternity of your son, King? Yes, Your Honor, he does. Um, my cheating was due to his infidelity. I may have messed up, but the guy that I messed with, I never had sex with him unprotected, so it was never any uh, unprotected sex. Also, Honor, the time of conception, I did not mess with that guy. When, when guys are having sex, because I'm a male myself and I know how it go, you can initially put the condom on, but, you know, while you're having Your Honor, sex, I guys, know if I had sex they there, can I slip know the that. condom off, you know, do different things, stuff like that, so you never oh. really know, you know. So, but, your point is, you don't believe her saying it was protected. I mean, she couldn't know, you know, 100%, like I yes, said, because guys do that. I know. I had sex with a guy with protection. I never had unprotected sex with anybody besides him. So, Mr. Walton, you admit you had cheated on her. Yes. But then she retaliated, had sex with a person you say was your childhood friend or uh, someone you knew? Yes, having sex with a guy that I knew for years. I mean, we was always together, yes. And uh, other guys that I know of. You other know. guys? Oh, other guys. Yeah. So you think it's more than one guy? I, that can possibly be his father. I'm no. not gonna say that, but no. me knowing her having sex with other guys besides that one, yes, it's facts, yeah. Oh, She's admitted so to what did you see specifically on her phone? Uh, specifically on her phone, bragging about the guy's sex, uh, bragging about what she loves to do to the guy. Uh, yes, I mean, I you know, all types of stuff that just made me sick. How did she tell you about the other guy? Uh, well, initially she told me in a joking way, saying she did it with this guy, then she said she didn't, saying she did, didn't. So it's confusing me at, the, at that time. You know, I didn't know what to believe, but... Miss Deaver, were you trying to confuse him? What, what is the real story? I wasn't trying to confuse him. When I told him I had sex with the guy, the other guy besides the other one, um, I actually The other guy him. besides the other one. <laughs> See what I mean? I actually told him. He went through my phone once and found out about one guy. The other guy I told him about verbally. He didn't have to go through my phone and find that out. And I didn't do it in a joking manner or anything. I told him verbally I had sex with this guy. Well, but you besi- used protection with both men. Yes. That's what she said, but you, like, I've you never can't had believe her. If she would fake a pregnancy him. and tell me that she was really pregnant when she really wasn't, then what else, you know, I don't know what else to believe at that so, point. So, get back to that. She told you she was pregnant. Uh, well, not only told me, I had the concrete evidence. She had, she showed me the paper yes. with her name on it from the doctor saying positive. You can't get no more evidence than that. So, I mean, I believed it, you know, but what really happened was she had somebody, whoever it was that was actually pregnant, use her urine, and that's how, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how it happened. So you faked Manipulated a pregnancy test, Miss Deaver? Yes, ma'am, I did. I want him to... 
I wanted him to feel the exact way I felt when he did all the things that he did to me. He cheated on me numerous of times with numerous women, women I did not like, women I did like, people I thought I was cool with, and he didn't stop there. It's been numerous of sex. He's I had no idea so she you, was... So you said you were gonna get back at him by telling him you were pregnant? Yes, I wanted him to suffer the way I did. Why would that be a suffering for you to be pregnant? Because he was happy at first, and when I told him I wasn't, he was sad. Oh, so it was just a complete torture move. Yeah. Meaning, I'm gonna tell him I'm pregnant and let him get happy and yes. hopeful that he's gonna be a dad, and then I'm gonna say, psych. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I don't... So, at some point, you actually did get pregnant. Yes, ma'am. Now, when you told him, did he believe you this time? Yes, he did. Uh, when she told me she was pregnant the second time, she, I didn't believe her. She sent me the picture of the test. Of course, I'm not gonna believe that since she lied before. And so then, when we actually went to the actual uh, place, then that's when I did believe her. But I still was thinking in my mind that she could fake this one as well, me being there. I don't know how, but mm. well. I, you know, I did end up believing it. You did end up believing it? Yes. So you believe she was pregnant, did you believe you were the father? Uh, I had my doubts simply. I mean, like I said before, I mean, all around, it was all around this one time seemed like, man, where she was messing no, with Honor, me and still, true. you know, I'm that's finding text messages about her, you know, bragging about the guy's sex and all of this. So it, it, it just, I didn't know what to believe. That's not true. He's getting the times mixed up. He's confused. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, King is now nine months old. Have you been in his life? The whole entire time. No. I've, the whole entire time I've been no. in his life. No. The whole entire time. She can, that's not, yeah. Only that, when we're together is when he's involved. That's, that's not it. true because whenever we are not together... You don't do anything. She doesn't communicate with me, so I don't know what he needs, but her I mom... Shouldn't have her to mother, tell you. I shouldn't have to tell you Her mother to ends up telling me, you know, that he needs this and he's that, and I go get it every single time. I've never said no, never did not. So... Someone always just because she to wants ask. to play the game of me not seeing him or whatever, then <laughs> that's on her. That's not my fault. I do whatever I can, and <laughs> I have. I mean, you know. So throughout this pregnancy, though, you were there? Throughout... While she was pregnant, I was not... Like, you know, step by step, no, you know, he with her one month, two month, three no, month, four wasn't. month. No, I wasn't doing that because I was so sick and disgusted of the things that I found out and heard, you know, about her doing. I could not be around her at the time, no. He will come up, he will show up to doctor's appointments, but he's not emotionally involved. Um, when I had my child, he did not sign the birth certificate. He came to the hospital, but he did not sign the birth certificate. I offered a test in the hospital. He didn't want to do it because he knew he was going to have to pay for it. So That's... he didn't want to do the test, but now he has doubts now that he's not No, I did not sign a birth, the birth certificate because I didn't want to. When it was time for me to sign a birth certificate, I uh, told the lady a story about my uh, other baby mom. Had nothing to do and with my so I, That has and, nothing and... to do with my child. Okay, so w the story that I told her, you know, it led to her seeing that I had a little doubt. So she said, even if I wanted to now, and I had the pen was about to sign, but she said, even if I wanted to now, I cannot sign a birth certificate. She told me I couldn't sign a birth certificate just because she felt that. that I had doubts. I don't believe so, that. And that's so that the nurse true. in the hospital told yeah. you yes, she, said she I could would not... not allow you to sign yes, it. Yes, yes, even if I Because you're expressing to. doubt. Yes, exactly. Jerome, I know about 150 men that were in this courtroom wish that nurse was in their hospital. Yes. Well, exactly. I mean... What evidence do you have for me? Proof that he didn't sign the birth certificate. Let me see that, Jerome. He admits it. Like I said, there's nobody that can vouch for me on All that. All right, yep, in fact, not signed. All right, so how did this go? Now, you didn't sign the birth certificate, but now the beautiful baby's here. Are you in King's life? Are you... I'm in his life every When he step... wants to be. Oh, Lord, Jesus. When he wants to be. Lord, I'm when in When we're this, together, I'm in he do his part. Life. When we're not together, he don't call my son and check on him. He don't pick him up. He don't take him Okay. Nowhere. Unless my mom or myself calls him, he does not do anything. That's not true at all. If you could see... I shouldn't have to tell a 24-year-old man she what to is, do. If she would no. go to the extinct of lying to me about her being pregnant the first what time... What does it have do to do with your child? Do you not... Get the results. 
not from the think, beginning. Do you not think that she would try to hold him beginning. away from me just to no. make it seem like to the world that I don't want to be in his life? So you you got a whole conspiracy theories going. You think yeah, he's, he's just crazy. out? I'm he's get crazy. You. Yeah. It's obvious the man doesn't trust you. Right. However, you've given him every reason not to. Right. Now, you know, for whatever he's done wrong, and look, him right. cheating on you and all of that is absolutely wrong and unacceptable if you all were in a relationship. I would have respected her more if she didn't try to get back at me, and then I would be rubbing her feet, begging her every day to, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for what I did. But since she did the, the you know, the crazy get backs, then it, it leads me to not caring, so. Well, look, before you get on your soapbox and <laughs> start giving your speech, uh, she would never <laughs> be in the position she was in to hurt that badly. Look, you know the uh, saying, hell have no fury. <laughs> like a what? Woman score. You obviously don't know the saying because you don't practice the meaning by it. <laughs> meaning, you don't mess with a woman. Yeah. I okay? Do. Because we love with our whole hearts. Yeah. And when we do and when you crush it, look, some of us are able to walk away, but some of us feel like we need to get some revenge before yeah. we walk away. <laughs> and that, do that too. may not be right, but it's real. Yeah. Ultimately, this courtroom is about children. Yes, ma'am. And it's about King. Mm -hmm. You say you all have another baby on the way. Yes. You don't question that one. No. So what we're not gonna have is King running around here feeling like I'm the odd, beautiful baby out because this child knows you're his mm -hmm. dad, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And everybody's treating me funny. Yeah. And I hope he is my. So when you hold King, do you see yourself? I I don't. She, I mean, you know, he he has like if you can see in her head. He looks like me. It's like a a, a little I don't know what that is, but it's it's straight. <laughs> it's straight. No, he's a beautiful baby, man. He but, sure is. Seriously, but it's like a line of hair. So you're that, saying you that. see more of his mom's characteristics oh, than you do yours. I mean, it's facts. Yes. Okay. The eyes. <laughs> So, well, oh, look at this beautiful picture, though. So, have you developed a bond? I have a big, huge, like, it's when unbelievable. When he wants a bond. It's, it's, when he wants regardless bond. of what she's saying, when I bonded bond. with this baby so much, it would tear me apart if it wasn't. Like, I would probably cry. Not a lot. Oh, like, that's a cute picture. Yeah. And so, Ms. Walton, when you see your baby with the man you believe is his father, his daddy, does it make you even more concerned that perhaps there is a chance? Yes, ma'am. All I want for my son to have is something I never had. I didn't have a dad growing up. Um, me and my dad live in the same city. He doesn't do anything for me. Um, he doesn't claim me. And he's never been there for me. Um, all I want is my kids to have both parents in the same house. You want your babies to have what you did not have. Yes, ma'am. And what you wanted so desperately. So, Mr. Deaver, what happens if these results prove that you're not, in fact, King's biological father? Honestly, I flip out. I wouldn't know how to... I don't know. I wouldn't be right. I mean, I didn't have my... She ain't the only one. I didn't have my father either. I'm, you know, 24 years old. He was locked up for what, 19 years, got out. Still no relationship, okay? I'm not, the, she not the only one, you know? So that makes me want to make sure that, you know, my children, you know, have their dad. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's the right thing. So is it your plan to be there for King no matter what? If he is mine, of course. And if he's not? <laughs> I, like I just said, I don't know how I'm gonna act on that. I don't know. So, Miss Walton, I have to ask you this. Are you concerned that if he's not King's biological father, this relationship is over? Yes. Even with I the know, new baby on the way? Um, I know so, yeah. You know so? Mm -hmm. He said it before. And he's clearly just said it again. So, um, I'm sure he won't be involved with me. Um, 
Hopefully he deals with my kid, but if not, I still have to do what I have to do. Yeah. All right. Well, I think it's time to go to the results. In light of what's on the line here, Ms. Walton, if you'd like to have a seat, given your condition, please feel free. But I do want to be with her, though. You do want to be with her? Yes, I do. So, yeah, I do. Very bad, honestly. Are you ready for the results? Yep. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Walton v. Deaver, pertaining to whether Jamel Deaver is the biological father of nine-month-old King Deaver, it has been determined by this court in the case of Walton v. Deaver, pertaining to whether Jamel Deaver is the biological father of nine-month-old King Deaver, it has been determined by this court that Mr. Deaver, you are his father. I know. That would. Today we have the case of Phillips v. Gibbs. Miss Phillips, you are suing your ex-boyfriend for $1,000 in child care expenses you claim he has ignored since denying that he is the father of your two-month-old daughter, Jordan, whom he refuses to meet. Today you have petitioned the court for a paternity test to prove he is the father and are looking to recover your $1,000 uh, child care expenses. Mr. Gibbs, you claim that Ms. Phillips did not live up to your standards and has a long history of sexual promiscuity. You believe you are not the father of her baby and therefore say you owe her nothing. Now, Ms. Phillips, tell me about your relationship with the defendant. Well, Your Honor, I thought this was going to be the best situation. I thought that he was actually the one for me, you know? And I think it started for me when, you know, he went to this convention, a spiritual convention, and he came home that night. He was just like, you got to go. So okay, I... wait. <laughs> I just must stop you. You're in a relationship. Yes. He's the one for me. That's how I felt. <laughs> then he goes to a spiritual convention. Yes. And comes home and tells you to get out. Yeah, he told me he had to go because he was working on himself or whatever. So I was like, well, oh. it's late. You know, can I just wait till the morning, just go to my grandmother's house? You know, it was late. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> yes, it was like mm. 12, 1, 2, maybe. So he takes me to a hotel. Mm. I'm in the car crying, boo-hoo, and I'm like, why? You know, why? He was like, he can't do this no more. He got he to gotta do right. So I was like, okay. Okay, Mr. Gibbs, I have to ask you, mm -hmm. is this true? Did oh. you go home after the spiritual convention and put Miss Phillips out and take her to a hotel? A lot of stuff led up to this event. Okay. Okay. First of Fill all, me in. The, the first thing that happened was we went to a Christmas party that her friend was throwing. Um, she's getting uh, approached by a guy I guess they know is a part of the family. He um, kind of just ignores that I'm even there. I'm asking her, I said, hey, you going with me or not? No, uh-uh. And so she's you shaking stay... her head yes. Yeah, so she want to stay here with the, with the guy that, we just, that, we, that I just got into an altercation with. Then the next event, we get to... Let me stop at that event, because I need to understand from Ms. Phillips now, why That's is not... it if you came to the party with him and you guys were together when I there was an altercation, I... why didn't you leave with him? The only reason why I didn't leave with him, because he... the dude was still hot. I've been around that family for years, mm -hmm. and I know how they work. So what I was doing, I was just trying to, you know, kind of keep it down, because they was ready to go to the house. So out of protection for him, you were just I... trying to exactly. defuse it. Exactly. And say, I'm just going to stay. Exactly. After that, it follows up. I go to Miami with a friend of mine. Two days later, I get a call from a mutual friend that says she was involved in an event. I called you and told Her, you. My mutual friend I told me you. first. They left and went to um, a, a party where um, I know what type of girl she is. She, she's a very promiscuous girl, put it like that, herself. So yes. when she gets there, she's already in the car. She tells me Mahogany didn't even want to get into the car. 
because she's I seen her. I got right in the car and I seen her. I even say hey to her. She didn't say hey to me. In that situation, yes, I, I was Originally, she at told that... me that was her brothers, her oh. real fleshly brothers. Yes, I asked I her several times. I told him all this. This is what I told him. Mr. Gibbs, you say that Ms. Phillips admitted to cheating. Yes, yeah, she, I did. She, yeah, she told me that, but when I first got back, she told me that she didn't. Nothing happened. I was with my brothers. That story stayed for about a month and a half until finally she broke out and said, yeah, I did cheat, but it wasn't with who I was with that night. So the trust is going out the window, but you're still with her? I'm still with her. Then, another situation where I was with, uh, talking to a, a friend of mine outside during a party, and he was telling me, um, yeah, uh, I was with this one girl, man. We was, you know, we was in the back seat. We doing it, and all of a sudden, um, a, a guy in a black car pulls up. And he was like, um, I said, I said, the black car pulls up. He said, like, yeah, she told me to go ahead and let's get out because he's crazy. It's my boyfriend, he's crazy. I said, did the black car look like this one? And he was like... Yeah, that was yeah. a friend of mine. And we were talking in front of my house when he came. And But we but went together. She didn't out this we person went tell together. you that she did have sex with him? Yes. And we weren't to, we even together. And he explained I did have in sex details. with him now. Okay, but wait we a minute. together then. And I felt bad about it. I told him I felt bad. I shouldn't have did it. I didn't even, I didn't even feel good about it at all. But when I go through his stuff, the bad that he took to Miami, I see condoms in the open, and they open and one missing. Had the relationship ever been positive? Yeah, it's been for good. You. Yeah, it's been good. A lot of times, like, cause it's been time that we actually did things together. I mean, we had like a family. He's he had his two girls. I had my boy. We was, you know, I was we was doing things we were supposed to do in a relationship. We just had a real relationship. It just when he get in that mind frame where he assuming that something happened, it turns sour. Which I understand, cause if you cheat once, then you gonna you think he gonna think you always cheating. But then that's why I kept myself around him. There was so times. So he wouldn't think that was... something was wrong, and that's what I did. I even had problems with my my people. My, my grandmother was getting mad because I always was running over there to him. And then when he does it, it's like out of character, I'm worthless. You know, I'm the whore, the biggest whore, a, a slut. I'm everything, but yeah, I'm here doing oh. everything I need to do that you want me to do. But at the same time, I'm calling, where you at? Oh, she'll come up with this line or some, some story where she had been at with her friend's house. But when I get over there, as soon as we, we could be sitting there for five, ten minutes, a phone call pop up. Hey, is Mahogany there? And that's true. In your statement to the court, you also talked about text messages. I had went to jail for about two months. And while I got, when I got back out, the first thing I, I'm, I'm gonna do is go through your phone. Multiple dudes are in there making flagrant text it's messages. Two. Um, oh, I'm horny for you, daddy, and all this other kind of and stuff. And that's a lie. We yeah. wasn't sexual. Multiple text messages from and multiple dude, different guys. And then five, and five different numbers okay, at least. But yet, I even called a couple of them back, and I'm like, hey. He got other girls come to see him in so, jail. So thus this far girl. in this story, I I'm hearing that, Mr. Gibbs, you were a good man in this relationship. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I, I was just being 100% um, in the right because, oh, okay. because we were doing tit for tat, a lot of it. Miss Phillips, you said you thought he was the one for you. Yes, you really I did. did. And did you come to find out that you were the only one for him? No, it isn't. I know it's not. I knew that wasn't the case. Did he, he have other women? When I first met him, whatever, and we was getting into our relationship, he told me that he had been married before. My wife at the time was living in Mississippi. We had been legally separated for almost two years at well, that point. Well, I have a saying, a man is married until he is divorced. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. Still married. And that's when I should have known that the relationship was going But at some point, progress. you found out. Yes. Two weeks later, and but I you still, continued. But, three, and I still continued. We four yes, years now? I did, because I, by then, I felt like I was stuck. I was young, and I felt like I was stuck. Shoot, he ain't with her, so I'm going to stay with her. That's to Stay with him. That's how I felt. What I'm gathering is that truth. this relationship was messy. Yes, ma'am. Despite this messiness, you end up pregnant. Yes. The question up is, is it mine? And I'm like, okay, you feel like it's not yours? How? We, we, we haven't unprotected sex since we've been talking. But here's the reason why <laughs> I felt like that. The situation well, was is when we, when I had just moved into a new apartment, um, we didn't. We had just gotten to blow up because it was either her friend had had a birthday party, and they go out on the night on the town. I go by her house. She's not there. I'm knocking on the window. She's not there. And there's been multiple times where I go by there. She say she's there. She's gone. She didn't left. She didn't left wow. her kid or whatever. Gone. Two weeks after I Joe moved into my apartment, and me. I did, she she was nowhere near to be to be found. When she get find out that she's pregnant, and then she's telling me all these mixed dates. She go to the, she go to the doctor. She says, Oh, I'm 12 weeks. Oh, or oh, I'm 16 weeks. And these are within two or three days. 
Okay, so when I'm so all, when like so when I counted back of June, so when I counted back, I I'm like out, that that's around the time when and that's the night when, he was missing when she was missing, which made you doubt her. So it made me doubt her. Yeah, obviously. Okay, but then that was the night I called up my friend. I did. I sure did call my friend because my friend would tell me that I am worth something. That I'm not worthless. So that's what I did. Okay. So this is a male friend. Yes, it is. And you had him tell you yeah, and you and was worth him, something. And I kept putting him off and kept putting him off because I wanted. To, I, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. No, you that telling me that you friend you, that you telling me about. With you this telling friend? me that night? Yeah, because he See? in the military. There so. you go. You had sex with the man. You're that saying day. you did. Yeah. So that do you day. understand from Mr. Gibbs' perspective why there's doubt? Who 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 gets pregnant by a I'm man that you claim is your pre that you pregnant real? by? You go and take off 800 miles away. You go to Tampa. You down there. You you done left me up here high and dry. You're not worried about I me. Take it I'm no calling. More. I'm trying to I'm I trying to maintain a long distance I relationship. Couldn't. So I but left. how much how much can I do this when I'm not at doctor's appointments? I'm, I'm not there, there doing the pregnancy of this child. I'm not, I mean, the labor of this child. I'm, I'm not there. I'm absent. But even still, when she came back for her birthday, I took her out. She came back to visit for another reason. She ain't come down to visit for me. She came down to visit for another reason. So, she left. She left. During that time, you kept in contact, but you didn't make the effort to go down to see her. No, no. because at the time, I, no. I, 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 I run my own I business. Did all the, I did and all I run my own business, and I work, and pregnant. I work. Yeah, I was pregnant. Doing she did the traveling via her mother. Or family. But I was doing the okay. traveling. So, based upon this, Mr. Gibbs, you're convinced you're not the father. I just say I have good, reasonable doubt that there's that there is that okay. I'm not the father. Now, I'd like to bring up your witness, please. Please state your name, ma'am. Raven Gibbs. And you are Mr. Gibbs' sister. Yes, am I correct? that's correct. Tell me what you have to add to this situation that can help the court understand what's going on. Okay, well, first of all, it's just too much between the both of them back and forth. This has been going on for years. And when my brother first told me that she was pregnant and that she did have a child, I thought it was strange that she left and went to Tampa because I felt like, okay, well, if it is his baby, you're not just keeping it away from him, but you're keeping it away from the rest of his family, too. Because if it is his daughter, then she's our family, too. So I thought it was kind of strange that she would just go to Tampa while she was pregnant. I don't, I don't mean, like, towards the end or the beginning. I mean, like, right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know anything about when she was due or anything. And then all she would do was send pictures to him and then just talk about child support is what he was telling me. So I'm like, well, how can you do all that and you don't even have a paternity test because they both were seeing other people. She was seeing other people and he was seeing other people. And he told me around the time that the baby was conceived or when she found out she was pregnant, it didn't add up because she was seeing other people and they weren't really together like that. If you wanted him to be a part of the pregnancy, why leave in the first place while you're pregnant? If you, I, I, I want to understand that. I couldn't do it no more, Your Honor. The All this arguing. drama he was taking me through, I was pregnant. I wasn't trying to be the pregnant. It was stressing you out. Yes, I wasn't trying to be stressed out. I was not trying to be stressed out by him. And he know why, because he first came off denying it. Then we get into argument after argument about, about the situation. I had to go get me some rest. I was coming back, but I had felt like I needed to go for this pregnancy to get me some rest. Why do you think she left? I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out. But she, when she left, I mean, she didn't give no, no real definitive reason why she's leaving. She's saying, oh, I can't take it no more, but look, look what we've been going through for the past four, three years of chaos. And I wasn't so, pregnant then. So you're going to get pregnant, but then now you take off I right, when, right when things then. are getting critical. And right did your brother serious. tell you that Ms. Phillips had left to go to, go mm -hmm. to Florida? And what did you think? I thought it was strange because, I mean, if I was pregnant by someone and I wanted, to, wanted that person to step up, and even if I'm, not ha I'm having problems with that person, I'm going to think about my child. I'm going to think about the fact that that's the father. So I'm going to try to, like, at least stay around and see where he can step in. We don't have to be together. We don't have to talk. I still can get my rest and my breaks from arguments. I thought it was strange because if it was just being a woman, if I had a child and I was in that situation, I wouldn't just leave while I'm pregnant because that's just not natural to me. Well, the baby comes first to me. And my baby's health is important to me. If I'm stressed out, of course, I mean, it's anything that can happen when you're pregnant. If you got a child, you will know that when you're pregnant, you can't be stressed. But even after the baby was here and she would come to Pensacola, mm -hmm. she still was, like, on the DL about it. So she still, you know what I'm saying, it still does not add up. Well, okay, did I write you? you? Yeah, you wrote me several times. We wrote back and forth. Pensacola. We wrote back and forth all the time. <laughs> but even even after after the baby was born, she goes and says she's on the she's on Facebook with other friends telling them that okay, the baby's not mine. She's telling I her friends that they're not that. mine. I never okay. said that. You can't find and 
in your statement to the court, you also said that some friends said that she told them that That's the baby wasn't. She told her friends that they that they weren't oh that it wasn't God. mine. That's the biggest lie I ever heard today. Nobody will ever believe that that baby ain't his because they said how in the world did he even deny her when they every time you see him it's me or me him. They they didn't even know that we had broken up. Everybody I was shocked. I think the only thing at this point it's that we taste. have established is that this relationship was doomed from the start. Thank yes. you. Yes. I feel like that. um, That's true. Thank you, Ms. Gibbs, for your testimony. You may have a seat. I can't believe it, but I think I might be speechless. I, I'm looking for the light here. There when did no either of you treat this relationship as something of value or something to respect or be trustful, you were married, you were cheating, and you were tit for tat, and you break up, and then you get back together, and then potentially create a child. And still arguing about it. And yeah. the only thing this court cares about is that child. I think yes. it's time for yes. us to reveal the results, because I think we need to know. Are mm -hmm. you ready? Yes. Absolutely. All right. Jerome, if I may. Oh! Yeah, that's Jordan. Now, Mr. Gibbs, you have never, ever met the baby, right? No, ma'am. Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> These results as prepared by DNA Diagnostics reads... When it comes to two-month-old baby Jordan, Mr. Gibbs, this court has determined that you are her father. That's good. How do you feel? I'm completely fine with that. It never was a point all where I felt like I didn't want that. <laughs> well, I mean, we got we got all the determination that. and I can move on and like, be a father. I'll be that nasty to not know who my baby dad is. Ugh, I can't deal. I can't. Express to the court what you feel. That's embarrassing when your friends come out. Oh, yeah, I talked to Sharon and he's like, you know, uh, that ain't my baby. I got to see that in black and white. Like, seriously. I never Man, said it wasn't my baby. Never... I never said it wasn't my baby. Oh, my God. I always, but I did say, look, I just need to see verification. I got it. For this reason, because it's been determined that, Mr. Gibbs, you are baby Jordan's father, I am going to award plaintiff the $1,000 in back child care fees. <laughs> because it is your responsibility to help with the fees and the costs associated with the birth and care of baby Jordan up until this time and going forward. Absolutely. Miss Sutton, you say you believed you were in an exclusive relationship with Mr. Smith until you got pregnant and discovered he was living a double life. You say the defendant has denied your daughter, Kaylee, and you are in court to prove he is your child's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Smith, you and your mother say Miss Sutton is a pathological liar whose list of sexual partners extends well beyond just you. You admit to having two sexual encounters with the plaintiff, but say your relationship was anything but exclusive. What do you mean he had a double life? Him and his other baby mama were together when he was supposed to be with me. Like, he was staying with me, living with me. I used to see him every day. He used to come home every night. And then all of a sudden, when I get pregnant, it's an issue. When I post my picture of my ultrasound, when I got pregnant with my daughter on Facebook, I tagged him in it, and that's when she messaged me, and she told me who she was. By my understanding, when she was pregnant with their daughter, he said he, he wasn't with her. He said he would just want to be there for, for the baby, and that was it. Then all of a sudden, when I get pregnant, he's with her. So is that true, Mr. Smith? No, ma'am, that is not true. What is your side of the story? Well, when I first met LaQuay, I mean, Miss Sutton, first I've met her through my cousin. You know, we chilled, we kicked it off. First time we had a sexual encounter, you no, know, we met at my auntie's house. We stayed, you know, spent the night with each other, had our first sexual encounter. So I, after we had sex, I had went out of town to Cleveland, Ohio 
on a, uh, on a vacation. It was on the 4th of July, and she called my cousin phone or something like, um, is DZ around you? And she gave me the phone, she was like, uh, and she said, oh, oh, I'm pregnant by you. I'm like, you pregnant by who? She's like, by you, I'm like, him, you lying, you gotta be lying. I'm like, what about Jimmy, Joe, and John? You see? So you knew for a fact she was sleeping with other people? Yes, yes. Were you, Miss Sutton? No. You've been denying my baby from day one. And from day I... one, when she looked just like you. Ain't nobody in my family got no big forehead like that. <laughs> that baby look just like you. Even your partners on the street on Fabric say that she look just like you. Yeah, I, so I know they will, because every, so so every time they look around, you posting a picture. Every time they look around, you posting a picture. Look at him, look at him. Wait a minute, Mr. Smith, I want to understand this. She's posting pictures of what now? Me and, and the baby, you know, telling everybody, oh, look, look, this is his baby, he denying my baby. And all this, and then they think, you know what? Look up, you got a picture with your baby and another dude beside each other. That is my husband. It's a family picture. A family picture? And she really wanted me to be in that girl life. That day that I called her and said, hey, I'm finna come up there. You want me to come up there and pull up on you and see the baby? No, um, no, um, my mom said, if you come up here, she don't want to have nothing to do with me and my baby, so you might as well stay there. Then she gonna say that. She tried to give me a free DNA test. Okay, and you try to give me a free DNA test. Child support. He did not show up twice for a DNA test. So, what that saying All about right. you? Because right. if I was a man, if I know a baby wasn't mine, I'll be the first one up there to take a DNA test. Point but blank. You're so ghetto. You're so period. ghetto and so messy. This ain't got nothing to do with you. I did it see with you. Hold on. Let's get some order. Let's get some order. Oh, you see, she like, messy like that. She messy like no, that, No, because y'all. this is between me and you. I don't have my mother standing here because my mama ain't got nothing to do with it. Miss Sutton, after you told him you were pregnant, what did he say to you? He said, all right. And then from that moment on, did he participate in the whole pregnancy at all? Come to any doctor's appointments? Oh, no, my mother was, was my baby father my whole pregnancy. And then when you went to the hospital, he didn't come? No, I invited him twice. Then he just... So kept... why didn't I then come, though? What you told me not to come okay, up here because Okay, at what? the hospital, you had to have an ID. You just got an ID, DZ. Man, it doesn't matter. You, man, my mom could have... I, I, I don't I, have I, time I, to deal with you. If you man. don't want to do for Katie, then don't do for Katie because my daughter's well taken care of. Been in school since she was six weeks old. She is well taken care of. Look at her. She well taken care of. I ain't missed the meal. What do they got to do with anything about missing the meal, bro? Like, I'm talking like, about, about the DNA. All right, thing, then how come you didn't take it when, when it was on, free? Man. And I'm sure gonna take a picture of the DNA. 99.99999. Nine, 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 nine. Your Honor, Miss, Miss Sutton is not telling you that uh, she done slept with my family members, husbands and baby daddy. And I caught her with one of them. Oh. We have tried hard, very hard, to get along with this girl. She has slept with one of my family members, both of her baby daddies, and when I was staying with Miss Sutton, I came home and caught her in bed with one of them. Okay. And, and, and the same uh, how she said that's supposed to be mine. Hold on, just re- hold on. Just recently, hold on, re- hold on. Just recently, she just stopped fooling with one of my family members' husband. Okay, but the least is in my name, true. isn't it right? The lease was in my name, but you were staying okay, with me, Tanya. Okay, If I can have somebody on there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I pay that rent. I pay the rent. You got I pay the bill. She ran off on $500. What's all right, all right. Hold Put on. Let's on get some list. order. Miss Sutton, I want to give you a chance to respond. She's making some serious accusations. Are you sleeping with multiple people in her no. family? Me and the person that she say I was sleeping with, I did not start sleeping with him until after that my daughter was born. He was my boyfriend at the time. So anybody I'm dealing with is going to make sure me and my kids are straight. I don't deal with nobody that don't us- upset my children. Point He's blank. Been everybody's boyfriend. <laughs> All right, well, he was what well, he was mine then. You bought and, him? You bought and, him? And, uh, you bought him just like you buy, trying to buy my son exactly. and everybody else. Exactly. What do you mean he's trying to day. buy them? All you gotta do is buy him some cigarettes and some beer. Ladies, hey, Honor. And he'll stay. One at a time. Yeah, Honor, let me tell you what my mama mean when you say she say bye bye. Okay, every time I got incarcerated, me, 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 me and LaQuay, we was never in no boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. Yes, we, yes, we did have a sexual intercourse with each other. So every time I done went to jail, yes, I done called LaQuay. She think that, just because she put money on my book, money on my phone when I get out, she, she feel like I'm obligated to stay with her because what she done done for me behind the wall. Come on, just because you done spent that money, that's on you. I just don't yeah. want you to start but a sentence he... with every time I go to jail. Because <laughs> he, he done went your honor. 
He has went, and then every time he come home, he comes to my house. If he's not with me, she why me. are you? Why are you coming to my she house? She buying me, your honor. I get oh. Jerry, come get this hundred dollar in this phone, baby. I'm on the way. Yes, she does. I'm on yes, the she way. Yes, she does because my family member, her husband and baby daddy, she was dealing with. She did the same thing. Listen, listen. If that's the case, it's. I'm getting it now. Ooh, even though <laughs> y'all give me a headache, but I'm getting it. I want to understand from you. It's your position that Mr. Smith is not doing enough for Kaylee and is denying her... He has never done nothing for her. The whole three years of her life has been me. A child looks for their dad. They know their dad. They she talk... She knows him. Does she call him dad? Yes. <coughs> Every time I show him a picture of her, like, I don't... You know, I hate him. Like, just to get that clear, I hate him. But if he would want to be in her life, I wouldn't stop him. Because my daddy has been in my life since day one. My mother and father are still married. I have had a two-parent household all my life. So I know how influential having a father in a girl's life is. So I would never take that away from him. If he'll call me, be like, let me get Katie. Oh, where you at? I'll, I'll uh, bring her to you. I don't like him. I don't like him. I want nothing to do with and him. So look, the no, that... Hold on, hold on, hold on. He saw my daughter for the first time when she was four weeks old. So you didn't see her until she was a no, month old? No, four weeks old, he came up to but my But now house. she's three years old. That's a lot of time. Have you tried to reach out to Miss Sutton and yes, see... Yes, Your Honor. Just, as a just now, fact, as just a now. Fact, just, just now. Just now for this. Just, just a minute. now. No. Just a minute. No. Just Not now, just Tanya. Now. You, Tanya, you lying. You. Tanya, you lying. We... I love Kaylee. No, you I don't. I know if she's my granddaughter. No, you don't. Because if she's my granddaughter, I want to treat her as is. I'm not gonna deal with her. That's what I'm not gonna deal with. Her deceitfulness, her lies, her manipulation. She's horrible. She screenshots, she puts it all on Facebook and when they're not looking. My family. She's done it to my she's done it to my family members, uh, husband or boyfriend, or her, their baby daddy. And when they're over there, she screen secret screenshot, put it all on. Well, all on don't me. talk to me and don't come around me then. But you know what? How about like? that? Why are you How? nasty? How about that? I'm being nasty because I've been doing this for three years, Tanya. That's not you raised two boys by yourself. So what? So you know how this oh, is. Yeah, I so I don't know. come at me with that. You all up in his business. You oh. are acting like you went under him. <laughs> Why? Because you want to? Yeah, that's no, what it I is. No, I don't want okay. that that's nasty what it thing is. on me. That's what it is. Let's get some order. That's what it Ms. is. Miss Sutton, um... Boy, I, she had, Ms. Like, Ms. Ms. Sutton. girlfriend or something, Ms. like... Miss Sutton. She wasn't in there Ms. with Sutton. Miss Sutton. Sutton. I'm trying to understand this frustration with this family. I know it's been three years you say you've been doing this all by yourself. No help. I can see that they don't believe that Kaylee is Mr. Smith's. What's really going on, though? She you so no. Young. Let her let her talk. Just let her talk, cause she's screaming at the top of her lungs, trying to be heard. And I want her to know I'm listening. He does for all his other kids, but don't do for mine. That's what I want to know. He does for all his other children, don't do for mine. You know how hurtful that is. Nice, yeah. Did you see that on social media and Facebook? His other baby mama tagging me in pictures of him holding his daughter. And don't and don't even want to take a picture with mine. As a mother, that hurts. I'm doing the best I can to stop being so, so no. Because you're acting. You're yeah, you yeah, No, yeah, for one yeah, day, yeah. it's my child, Tanya. Yeah. Look at that. Look at yeah. that little girl. She didn't do nothing to you. I'm not. I'm not. She didn't do nothing to you. I talked to and her last Ms. night. Miss Sutton. All right, and don't try and to act like you all hate me. Her on me when you been hitting my phone all week trying to you, be nice. You been you calling, calling me. Home. You been no. trying to be cool. Judge. Like, I'm just so tired Not to of each them. other. I'm That's tired enough. of them. If, if, Talk if, if, the when, when yeah. the DNA test was up, no. yeah, we, got we need to get joint custody. He had his time, I had my time. That's it. I don't want nothing to do with him, his family, all the, all that messy stuff. I have moved on. But listen, what, what, and this is the part that is troubling me in this moment, is because I can tell you have a lot on your chest, and whether they're saying you're acting or what, I'm listening. Because I want to understand how a young girl at 26 years old gets this angry. You're too young for that. You make yourself sick. Because he's the way deceitful. You how they say I'm deceitful. He's deceitful to me. 
That whole time, I wish I could bring you them letters when, when he was incarcerated. Cut Tell him that, that he loved me and how he want to be with me and my baby. I brought my baby down to the jail to see him. All this stuff. Who wants to bring that baby to a nasty, stinking jail? I don't. I loved him. I loved him with all my heart. And for him to deny me and my child, like, that's something serious. Because he's lying to his family, lying to the other baby mama, lying to his mama. Now, I just wanted to understand where this is coming from, and now I do. Mr. Smith, I want to give you a chance to respond, but I just ask you to do so respectfully. Yes, ma'am. Did you realize she loved you? Yes, I did. I, I did. I, I realized that. And, you know, yeah, I played a part in two because I was lying. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 she knew that I was dating somebody else and, you know, I, I was staying with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And, yes, we had sexual intercourse. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know she done caught feeling real deep for me and she really want me to be with her. But, like, my heart was always somewhere else and I ain't never want to try to have my cake and ice cream and eat it, too. Okay. When you up there in jail and you ain't got nobody to talk to, you talking about she putting money on your books? I practiced criminal defense law for a long time. I know what it means. I know you need... So hold on. And I'm also no fool because I've represented enough young men and young women where I know the manipulation that comes behind it because you ain't got nothing to do but sit up in there and wait for the time you get to talk to somebody and then when you do, you probably telling her everything she want to hear and that money is coming on them books. See, mama ain't no fool. I know what you did. But while you were entertaining her somewhere as hard as she is and as messy as she is and as petty as y'all say she is and everything you all say she is, she still fell in love. She's just a girl. So I get this. Both of you all have a part to play in it because Miss Sutton, I'm gonna tell you, that level of crazy you get to, everybody gonna be backing up. Because you go, you take it there. Yeah, but but that's because you're it. hurt. And that's why I asked you what's really going on. What about how I feel, too? I'm, I'm, after today, I'm going to lose a seven-year relationship with my family. This, this girl done, done harassed my baby mama and my, my family so bad to the point where, like... So your girlfriend says she's going to leave you if this child yeah, is yours. Uh, all that well, down the drain. Like all that go single. down the drain today. If the result come back saying that this is my like baby you, mama, everything that like I just built with my... With okay. This is going down well, the all I have to say, and I'm not saying this to be mean, but it's the truth. Kaylee's three years old. If she's yours and you were in a seven-year relationship, why in the world were you miss with Miss Sutton? <clears throat> I mean, these are consequences. It's hard, Mr. Smith. No one asked you to sleep with her unprotected. And you're right. Ugh. So now, all we can do is get the result. Yeah, that's all. Ron, yeah. the envelope, please. Yes, ma'am. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Sutton versus Smith, when it comes to three-year-old Kaylee, I'm more Sutton. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Smith, you are the father. Can I see my baby? Oh, thank you after three Can I see years. My baby? Three years. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, son. Three years. It's okay. All right, Miss. I want. I'm gonna see my baby. Three it's okay. years. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see my baby, bro. Okay. I'm sure she wants to see you too. That's my granddaughter. Would it be okay? if Mr. Smith saw his beautiful little girl, because when he found out he was the father, all the worry he expressed about what he thought he gonna lose, his first reaction is that he was emotional over his child and just said, can I see my child? Yeah. I, so can he see her? Yeah, I'm all right. take her away from We me. have counseling. We have resources for all of you. And we want you to take advantage of it. And most importantly, be good to that baby. Ms. Patterson, you have petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove to your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Rothwell, that he is the father of your one-year-old daughter, Jade. Yes, Your Honor. You claim he abandoned you, stuck you with bills, and now your parents are forced to help you raise your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. But after today's DNA results, 
he will pay. You're right, Your Honor. You're suing him for $6,423.45 for child-rearing expenses, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Rothwell, you say Ms. Patterson has her parents fooled into believing she's not a cheater, and you refuse to be the fool for taking care of a child that's not yours. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Ms. Patterson, does Mr. Rothwell have any reason to deny your No, fault. Your Honor, and today I will prove that he is the father. I'm tired of doing everything by myself. Wow. I had to rely on my parents to do everything or help me when we both made this child. So he should step up and do what he has to do. For what child? That's not my baby. Okay. okay. Not my baby. I guess. At all. It is. Take me back. Let me understand the nature of this relationship. We when? met in high school in 2009. We both graduated from the same high school. We met in 2011, like rekindled through a mutual friend. We started nah. dating on and off because he's a cheater, so I can't stay yeah, with I'm a cheater. Yeah, I'm a cheater. You're a cheater. So I got pregnant in 2013 in September. So wait, this relationship, you said you were dating on and off? On and off, yeah. Were you in a committed relationship at some point? Yeah, I was always committed to him. He wasn't committed to me. That's what it was. <laughs> Mr. Rothwell, committed. in your opinion, were you in a committed relationship with Ms. Patterson? Yes, ma'am. You're yes, a liar. You were. Did you do a lot of cheating? Uh, no. Yes, no, he did. Me? A lot of cheating. What about you? What proof do you have? What proof do you have? I, have I, never, I have never cheated on him. No. Never. At what point did you find out you're pregnant? In 2013, when we were on a trip for my birthday. I didn't, you know, didn't, you know, have my regular monthly. So we took a pregnancy test, and I could see in his eyes that he was scared. So he yeah, made up some ready. excuse when we came back from this trip. We got into a big argument. And, you know, so I didn't see him until December. But he, all through this time, he's telling me, you know, that's not my baby. It's not. And then all of a it's sudden, not. in December, you said, I'm going to step up and do what I have to do. No. It's just well, not right. No. And I feel like, you know, today, we're going to prove that he is the father. And if he doesn't do what he has to do, I will put him on child support. No, not at all. Not me. And so... No. I ain't going to pay child support for a child that's not mine. You say you met in high school. Yes. And what was his relationship with your family? We, we really didn't have a Your relationship, Honor. but, you know, my family did take him up, take him in like a family. I did. You know, we we like, treated it, him like he was family. Was just, you know, he different. sold me false dreams, telling he was gonna marry me, we have kids, I mean, be happy. All right, now, Mr. Rothwell, you had a great relationship with Miss Patterson and her family? Yes, Your Honor. They did take you in? They did take me in, but that wasn't their decision. <laughs> I didn't go there and say, hey, you what? Know, can you take me in, you know, crawling when through you, their door. When you say... Hold on, when, when you say take you in, did you actually live with them or meaning they accepted you? He like... lived with us. It was he both. lived with us. But I didn't want him did. to. We it was clothed both. him, you know, but... we bathed him, fed him, treated okay, him. But... My mom treated was him like decision. a son. She was claiming him as a son in law, and I don't have a ring on my finger. All right, I want to hear from your parents. Uh, please stand. He's a deadbeat. I'm sorry. Deadbeat? Oh, really? He's a deadbeat. His no. daughter called me daddy. It's a shame. And I'm so mad. Mr. Copeland, I can see mind. you're very angry. You feel like he has not stepped up to the plate whatsoever? Not at all. Not at all. Well, not explain all. to the to. court. If you look at this baby, man, you know it's your baby. You I just baby. sad. Yeah, there's no you comparison just sad. He's all. a sad person. He's sad. The I can't call know, him Mr. Like nothing. Me. There's no resemblance. I can't, I can't look, even she say just Mr. Like him. That's his twin. That, look at her. She look, she look, look at her. Like, she looks just she like his mouth and all. She doesn't. The only thing is different is she's brown skinned. And you, you, no, you are so no stupid, man. You're losing a lot of great things in life. You're about, no, no about to let it pass you right back. And so, Ms. Gardner and Mr. Copeland, you admittedly, they're saying that you took in. Mr. Rothwell. I you... didn't want to, because I don't believe in taking care of no grown men. But he lost his job, <laughs> and he got a, his, he's the father of my grandbaby. So I'm not the type of person that's gonna let him be out in the street. I even gave him money to go get him the gas I mean, so he could find him a new though. job. I didn't ask for you know what I'm saying? I didn't ask for him. But he didn't ask me for it, and I didn't ask for it back. I told him, all I want you to do, all I want you to do is get a job and take care of your responsibility, man. That's all you need to do. You don't owe me anything. Just do what you need to do. So let me understand this. Ms. Patterson and Mr. Rothwell met when they were in high school. Yes. Yes. You began to form a relationship, a bond, 
At what point do you take him in and he starts living with you? When I got pregnant, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> when you found out you were pregnant, then you take him in. Yes. So, Mr. Rothwell, did you participate in the doctor's appointments? Yes, the I birth? actually have those pictures. I have doctor's appointments pictures and... He Is was that there evidence the... you brought today? Yes. I'd like to see that. Jerome, will you hand that to me, please? He was there through the birth. He cut her a bill oh, court and there. he even signed yeah, the birth certificate. There. So, if I he wasn't the father, reason. why'd you sign the birth certificate? I mean, that's yeah, who does I'm that? Not... Who does that? If you are not the father, why you sign the birth certificate? Well, at the time... T today, you're gonna learn that you're the father, yeah. man. You're gonna learn today. These are pictures of... Explain to me. This first picture the is... The first picture, picture of... is actually... We left a doctor's appointment, and I was actually... That day, I was on my way to the hospital to get induced. And he was there. And then the next picture happy. is... Nah. My se the second picture, oh. that is at my baby shower. I mean, I'm a, I'm a good guy. You can clearly see that, but when it comes to a child, that's a different story. So well, I'm not dead, sure you're a good you guy now. His shirt right there says Jay's daddy, which is her name. Were you thinking in your mind, this is my child? I at, don't have a doubt? Yes, Your Honor. At that particular time, from the time she got pregnant and then up until the day she was born, I was there. But then at the same time, as we started, you know, me and the baby started to try to bond, you know, she kept crying, kept hollering and screaming. You didn't That's try. what babies do. You I mean, try. I understand that. You didn't try. He didn't try. No. So, didn't try. what is this last picture, Miss? That is at the hospital. That's at the hospital. And this is him holding? Yes, that's her. Jay. Holding her. Yes. And you look happy. I mean, yeah, I mean, at the time, yeah. But then after, as time went on, you know, we was, you know, we started following now. But not only that, when it comes to the baby, you know, I mean, I understand babies cry, yes, that's what all babies do, but there still should be some type of bond with the father. You didn't try to make a bond. So yeah. let me be clear. You were there for the birth, Mr. Rothwell. Yes, Your Honor. You signed the birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. So you acknowledged you were the father on that day. Yes, Your Honor. So now, why change now? Now, what happens after you come home from the hospital with the baby. A month after I, I came home with her, he was there, and then on his birthday, July 7th, he wants to disappear, and at, like, midnight, I get a text from him saying he's, he don't want to be there anymore because this baby doesn't look like him. Yeah, exactly. And get out he of doesn't here. have a bond. But what you no can't make saying? a bond with someone if you're not trying. You were still okay, living it. at home with your parents. No, we had an apartment. You did? Yes, me and him had an apartment. And then I had to... We had to break our lease because we broke up. I had to move back in with my parents because I can't raise my daughter by myself. Maybe but I feel like he cared more about that dang old truck that he got... Yes, Ooh. indeed. What, okay, ..more than my, my child. Look what this, truck is this? Look, look at this truck he has. Please, I got okay, evidence. Will you That's show me? Truck. I mean, this, why does this, it matter? Will you hand me that evidence? It, it's That's not on the your truck. truck. Y'all I... went in half on that truck, and nah, the repo man was my money. Get it if you don't step up. It was my today, money. Bro. I Look went from life. talking about a baby to talking about a truck. Yes, because he won't do nothing for my granddad. What is this truck? It's my money. Look at it. Look at it. He all washes all nice. He got stereos in it. That's right. That's my decision. He hugs his truck more than he do my daughter. That ain't my child. So I'm not going to take part. Your Honor, and he's an electrician junkie, so he likes all the new latest electronics, like iPads. So what are you saying? You're saying that. He gives but you're this supposed to be taking care truck of no. more well, well, time, oh, well, care, and attention yes, than, right. anybody. than he does the baby. Than right. anybody. Than his Your own Honor. self. He care for his truck more than so he do on. himself. If they can't I bet you he washes his truck more than he do himself. Wait a minute. Because oh. he's <laughs> dirty. No. He is no, dirty. That's not my Wait a minute. If you can't afford an apartment, how do you afford a truck? Because she had went in half Because I went in money. half in on the truck. So once... Okay, but that was my money, too. We both, we went, both half went half in on the truck. Right. But then I have another car also, so I let him just have that truck because I didn't want to hear nah, his mouth. Bro. I actually was at a, at a stop, like me and my cousin. He pulled up. I see he got these lights shining on the bottom. I see what's all on the inside. I'm hearing all this music. I'm like, this guy ain't did nothing for my grandbaby. So me and my cousin, we following. And I followed him to where he parked the car. I waited a couple of hours. I got the car. 
And look at that. Look at the lights on it. The lights on the inside, lights on it. Yeah, I'm home. like, wow. So, you ain't did nothing for my grandbaby, and I oh, see about $3,000 worth of stuff in his car. So I it's took his money. car, and I took it to my house. And see, I'm a mechanic. I told him, you got to come see your daughter. Yeah, I'll give you your keys. So he think he come see his daughter. I give him the keys. He's going to be able to pull out. Right. Psych, I, don't even write. I took him. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. So he, 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 got, he, he got real nice. Me and this guy used to go out At all. That fishing. Right. We used to drink beers and stuff together. I mean, he was like actually my son. I mean, it's and nine, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like so frustrated. I took his truck. Matter. So I when he came, see how frustrated when he came, you are. when he came over, he, he was real nice to my daughter, to everybody. Yeah, that's for two good. days. That's what I love on the third you day, know. I'm thinking he's gonna be back. On the third day, I put his truck back together. Told him, yeah, you can start it. You and see, he you disappeared. See how they do for over he an hour. He didn't right. never. I'm, I'm my right. daughter so loved wait, him. So wait. You rigged the truck so he couldn't drive it. Yeah. So he had to come back home. So he, so he played, he he played nice for two days, mm -hmm. and then he left. Mm -hmm. right. Mr. Rothwell, did you just leave on the third day? Yes, Your Honor. After the truck started? Yes, Your Honor. Why? I mean, I, I, why would you Why? Because he's why, scared why, to own No, the wait a minute. Let up. him speak. I'm trying to understand how a young man can do this to not just a child, but a family that's done so much for him. Why would you just right. leave on the third day and not come back? I mean, it was their decision to take me in. They didn't have to, but time they did that out of the time. Zero. Kind of set their heart. No but time at the with same time, when it comes to a child, you know, I just felt like, you know, there's no connection. Where did this doubt set in? Well, the reason why the doubts came in, say, in place was because one of my friends said that he seen her with another guy. It all, you know, came together. Like, so you, you know, felt like all these puzzle pieces came together, came together and, and that's and, and, why the child didn't look like you and that's why you weren't bonding because something fishy was going on back during the window of conception. Yes, Ron. What else? The baby, she doesn't look like me at all. You don't a think the baby looks me. like you? She's short to be a one-year-old. Her hair's a lot bigger than mine. Really? You know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. So you don't feel like there's any resemblance? At all. And what else? And I don't feel a connection at all. I need more evidence that you feel Miss Patterson was cheating. Because, for one, my friend said he saw her. So, and I'm okay. going to believe him. Okay, and then girl. what else? And then not only that, I've seen Facebook messages, the different What guys. did the Facebook messages say? That, I mean, it was just a random guy just in her inbox. Hey, what's up? Can I come over? I mean, it was Do just a whole list. Do I ever respond? Yeah, can I say Do something? Do I respond to that? So it's clear that she's so wait, too. So wait, wait, wait. Now I'm getting somewhere. So when you saw these messages, did they date back to the time period when Jade was conceived? It was in the same time. And then she even just admitted it that she talking about some do I respond. So that's I, clearly safe Honor, that she I've was talking about. So you're I saying that validates the messages. fact that there were the messages. Miss Patterson, I have to ask you. So did you have different guys messaging I mean, you that's on what Facebook? Facebook is. Some guys see your picture, you say, How are you doing? I don't respond to that. So I don't, don't know that. Down like that. Do you remember this encounter yeah, with I you in the do. truck with someone? No. What truck? What is he talking He's about? He's saying his old truck. So he had it with him. She don't know. How? See? And when I found out about the Facebook messages, you know, I was like, as time went on, I'm like, well, you know, it's all coming together now, you know, from her cheating, and then, it's all you know, my friend, talking about he saw her with another guy. So, ultimately, we're here for one reason, to get the results so we can figure out how yes. to move forward. And yes. if he is yes. the father, yes. you all have to talk together. You can't just talk over one another. Yes. And I will to co Is this, Miss Patterson, this is the only child you have? No, I have another child, Your Honor. You do? Yes, Your Honor. Older or younger than She's Jay? She's older than her. She's four years old. And he's not the father? No, he's not the father. Nope. But when we were together, he took her in like he, she was his. Did so you've established a bond with her older child, too? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. He'll come get her, take her to the park, but then just leave Jay there. It's not right. It's not right. I mean, and Jay's your biological child. No. And see, you're just leaving her in, in the dark. He's my child. Ms. Patterson, yes, you're Your suing for how much? Uh, I'm suing for $6,423.45. They are credible expenses, but I cannot rule on your suit until I get the results. That's fine. All honor. right? With that said, I think it's time to get some answers. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Patterson versus Rothwell, pertaining to one-year-old Jade Rothwell, 
it has been determined by this court. Mr. Rothwell, you are the father. I told you. You're stupid, don't I told you. You owe my child an apology. You owe my child an apology. You owe my child an apology. Anthony, and you owe my family an apology Anthony, I think for putting you us through this. Up and be, uh, be the man that you possibly can be and be a good father, hopefully. Wow. You're the Mr. Daddy. Rothwell, do you now understand the responsibility you have to this child? Yes, Your Honor. In my mind, I was thinking to myself, oh, Lord, they saying he's the father, but this child is a mess. I don't even know <laughs> what he's gonna do if he is the father. Then I heard them testify that you come and get the older child and you actually have a bond with the older child that you maintain. So that let me know you have it in you. Now that your doubts have been cleared, I want you to do the right thing by Jade. Yes, ma'am. With respect to your suit, now that it has been determined that Mr. Rothwell is, in fact, the biological father of a beautiful Jade, you are entitled to half of those childcare expenses you've incurred thus far. You came in saying you had spent $6,423.45 in childcare expenses, and so, therefore, you are entitled to half of that amount, $3,211.73, judgment for the plaintiff, Mr. Hoover, you have petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove to your fiance that you are the father of her eight-month-old daughter, Nova Lee. You need today's DNA results to keep your family together. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Armour, you stand here in court hoping and praying that Mr. Hoover is Nova Lee's biological father, but after a one-night stand with your ex, you are fearful that today's DNA results will reveal that Mr. Hoover is not Novalee's dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Hoover, you're here to prove paternity. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. Well, Your Honor, I love these girls. They're my world, and I, I just love everything. I just love everything about these women, and I just, I just want everything to be right, you know? And so you feel like you're doing everything possible and it's so important to you to be the biological father. I see the tears in your eyes. Yes, uh, the, the, this would, I mean, this is make it or break it. If, you know, I just, I just wanna know for her security's sake too, just, you know, she deserves to have all the love. It, <laughs> the bond you have with Novalee? It's, I mean, uh, she started grunting when she was a couple months old, and it, it wasn't a mean grunt or nothing, it was a playful one. And I just tested it, I grunted back, and now that's our thing, we grunt at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I can already tell she's got an imagination. That's and, beautiful, that's beautiful. So, Ms. Armour, you've watched Mr. Hoover step up for your daughter, love your daughter, be the father, He's dreaming of being for your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. And yet, you know that there's a very real possibility he's not her biological father. As oh. much as I am in love with him, as much as I want a future with him, I know she is not. I look at her and I don't see him. So tell me about your relationship with Mr. Hoover, Miss Armour. How did we end up here? Well, we met when I was working at a convenience store. He'd always come in and we'd talk. It wasn't really anything other than idle chatter. And one day he came in and said, hey, come here. And he pulled out a pink bracelet and he said, I made this for you. And it was the first time we ever really had a real conversation. And I didn't believe him because I'm like, oh, that's a cheesy pickup line. You just <laughs> went and bought this. And he really did. We ended up exchanging phone numbers. And within that week, we started to hang out and we connected. And so this relationship sounds like a Cinderella story. <laughs> But if you live long enough, you know Cinderella's story is a fairy tale. So how do we get to the point where you slept with somebody else? Well, a little bit after my birthday, we ended up breaking up. But within three days of us breaking up, I ended up hooking back up with my ex for a one night stand. Oh, the dreaded ex. 
Well, we worked together, so it was hard to stay away from him. How soon after you reconnected with the ex did you find out you're pregnant? About a month or so, maybe two. And I actually found out when I was with Lee, I was scared and I told him, I think I'm pregnant. So we went and got a test and went to his house. And when it came up positive, we both just started to cry because I knew there might have been two possibilities. But when I went to the doctor, I went to two doctors. The first doctor gave me a conception date that would have only been Lee. Well, the second doctor told me that I was actually not as far along as what the first doctor told me. And her due date would have been July 4th. And so how far along were you at the time? That I was at the doctor's, I was about three, four months. So now that Novalee's here, we have her birthday, we can take a look at the dates. Well, I actually was induced with her because my placenta was calciumated, which means she could have been a stillborn if she would have stayed in until her due date. Okay. Let's take a look at the calendar. Baby Novalee's birthday was on June 27th. Yes, Your Honor. All right. That would make the window of conception approximately the third and fourth week in September, the 10th through the 18th. When were you intimate with Mr. Hoover? That entire time. When were you intimate with the other guy? In October. My actual due date was in July. So having her early being induced, I don't think the conception window would be in September. I believe it would be in October. And that's where I think she's wrong. I, to me, you look at it, um, I mean, we were together on October 6th still for her birthday and then a week after that. Were you intimate, the both of you, in October? Absolutely. Yes, Your Honor. You yes, were? Yes, Your Honor. So, that's still, even if the conception window is where you believe it may be a little later, Mr. Hoover is still a possibility. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so let's go to the birth. Let's go to Novalee's birth. Who was there? Lee was, along with a couple family members and our babysitter. Okay, so you were present, Mr. Hoover, for the birth. Yes, Your Honor. And you supported Ms. Armour the entire time? Yes, Your Honor. Did you sign the birth certificate? I did, yes, Your Honor. You did? And so why would you do that, Mr. Hoover, when you know you potentially, you may not be her biological father. I mean, uh, it didn't matter to me. I was there. And um, I, I love her. You know, I was telling myself, I'm going to love this baby too. Because uh, they all deserve the love that is required for their upbringing. All right. So, Ms. Armour, I need to ask you, did you tell your ex that you were giving birth, when you were going to be induced, that Novali was coming? Yes, Your Honor. You did? I did. And what was his response? Is, was he interested in being a father? He said, let me know if she's mine or not. That's all he said. But what did you say? Well, after I had her, me and Lee had discussed it. And I was mad at my ex at the time. I did not like his lifestyle. I didn't want him in her life if she was his or not. And Lee actually did not agree with that. But we decided he will be her father. And I messaged my ex and said, she's not yours. Oh. And he accepted that. He said, okay, thank you. All he said was, K. Wow. <laughs> so when did all this change? So you all made a decision. Mr. Hoover's gonna be the dad. We're gonna just text this ex and say, you know what, you're not the dad. Let him out the picture. Well, my ex didn't really come back into the picture until our babysitter got into a fight with Lee and then decided to message my ex and ask for baby pictures. Wait a minute, what? We were, we we were, were talking. Gonna do it. We were gonna do it regardless. Yes. And even at the beginning, like she said, I didn't want 
her yes, to text. Yes, she said you thought it was a bad idea. I was trying to counsel her because I knew that her hormones were out of whack and that she wasn't thinking proper. And I just, I, I was trying to tell her we need to make this right. This is not just about us. It's not just about, you know, her her other possibility. It is about Nova Lee, and it, it is it should always be about Nova Lee. Nova Lee's here now. It's her. But you still believe you're her biological father. Yeah, absolutely. But yes, you were supporting her during the window of time, Dr. Jeff just informed me, during the window of time, it's called the baby blues. That's what it's called. What we feel when we just are out of whack. You knew at that time she was going through that mm -hmm. and you wanted to counsel her, be there for her. Yep. So you never really even had any intention of going forward with this plan of completely icing the ex. But then the babysitter decided, I'm gonna get in there and, and, and mediate this because I'm mad. She's trying to sink a ship. Oh, even though you believe you're the father, Mr. Hoover, the babysitter decided she was gonna tell the ex. She thought we wouldn't make it without her. She was trying to sink the shit. So she sent a, t a text to the ex and said, the baby looks like you. Can you send me some baby pictures? What happened? No. He got a message from our babysitter asking for baby pictures of him. And he said, well, why? She said, well, I just want to compare. And he said, are you kidding me? They didn't get a DNA test. And she let his mind wander with it. Had you told him you'd gotten a DNA test? No. But once he realized you didn't, he knew that you telling him he wasn't the father was based upon you just telling him that and not knowing for certain. Yes, Your Honor. So we were not able to get a statement from your ex, but we did get a statement from his mother. And this is what she sent to the court. My son would love to have a child, but he doesn't believe Tiffany's baby is his based off what she told my son. The day that Tiffany's baby was born, she sent a text to my son and said he wasn't the father. We were told by his doctor that he most likely would never have children. The medicine that he takes for his illnesses decreases his sperm count. This would be his miracle child. This matter needs to be settled soon as possible. My son wants to add his name to the child's birth certificate and change her last name if he is the father, this is the statement from his mother, Lynn Bird. Your Honor, you see what I'm saying? I mean, there is no possibility that it can be his baby. That is, that is my baby. All I she can see all when I look at it's her, though, easy is to him. See. So when you You're seeing things. read the passage that talks about him taking medication that would reduce his sperm count, and the doctor told him he would not likely be able to have children, that's something you feel like you can hang your hat on and believe I am the father. Is that, that correct? That's just one of many. There, there are many things. Uh, the way she looks, I, I see me in her so, all the time. So, Ms. Armour, I do have to ask you, because his mom wrote um, this very detailed statement indicating that your ex was told he'd probably never have children because of the medications. Does your ex have any children? No, Your Honor. Okay. All right, so the stakes are very high here. You know, they're very high because, Mr. Hoover, you said from the beginning you didn't want to follow through with Ms. Armour's plan to just tell the ex to go away and that you're the father. Even though your name is on that birth certificate, you still feel it's appropriate to have the testing and to truly get the answer, even though you've said you're going to be there regardless. Your Honor, babies change lives. And if that's, if that's his baby, that could change his life. He could, he could literally turn himself around with her. And uh, he has that right. And he needs to know if that right is his. And I think it is quite incredible to not just put Nova Lee first, but another man. You don't, we don't hear that a lot. Someone care about the welfare of their, the person they love's ex? Awesome. We don't hear that. That's that, amazing. Well, that is the problem with the world today. People don't think of others. And you got to put yourself in their position. You better go ahead and preach, Mr. Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> you preaching the gospel up in here today. You don't got enough film for that. Uh, we don't have enough time, right? 
<laughs> <laughs> but no, really, you're right. And I think it's beautiful. And I'm so... I'm grateful, no matter what the result is, that Nova Lee will have you in her life. But I do believe that there's still a lot at stake because your name is on that birth certificate as the legal father. So now, the only thing left to do is to determine whether Mr. Hoover or your ex, Josh, is the biological father of Nova Lee. And I have those results for you. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Hoover versus Armour, when it comes to eight-month-old Novali Hartley Hoover, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Hoover, you are not the father. I'm so sorry. We needed to know. Okay. Stuff happens. We can do. I'm very sorry, Mr. Hoover. I'm not sorry. I got them no matter what. That's, I mean, that's my family. I am so um, impressed by the way you love and accept one another unconditionally. And yet every relationship runs into those hiccups and those barriers and those obstacles where you still need that good old practice of communication. Wouldn't be called life without it. Wouldn't be called life without it. I just love you, Mr. Hoover. That is the truth. <laughs>